Hey guys, I'm glad that you guys enjoyed the Dodo Guide video with the trial attack build. I was trying to upload a buzzer video today, but you just came out today and I was planning on making a video about how to evolve earlier. And then I had a game where I evolved at 8.55, which was insane. So I'm trying to explain to you guys how I evolved at 8.55 and then throughout the game, how I extended my early game lead to the late game. Having a, like a Gyarados at level 4 is insanely OP. Since it's only the first day of Gyarados coming out, I'm not sure what the optimal items are, but where well, I had success was Attack Weight, Brazer Claw, and Muscle Band. You can technically um, play Rapid Fire Scarf instead of Attack Weight, but Gyarados has such an insane scaling that Attack Weight is really powerful. I wouldn't recommend you guys to play Waterfall or Aqua Tail at all. I think when you play Gyarados and you want to learn it, you want to play Bones and Dragon Beef, because these two abilities are just really, really strong together. So I was just focusing on trying to make the Emblem page a bit valuable in terms of not having too much minus defense, too much minus special defense, too much minus HP. So only having attack is pretty solid as well. Hope you're gonna enjoy this video. It was a really dominating game after evolving it level 4 with Gyarados. I guess um, we have a the aura in the jungle. Play. I feel like playing Magic Up in jungle might, might not be the best in solo queue. Because the solo queue players are like really like flaming you. But I, I believe like Magic Up jungle works. You just have to like uh, not have the teammates in the beginning of the game. Which kind of sounds weird, but Magic Up is kind of useless in the jungle <laughs> until he gets level 5. But it's a really safe way to get like your early sticks. Yes. You, when you score, you get a lot of stacks as well. So always trying to get 10 points and score is pretty good. Magic up scales really well with attack rate as well. Hopefully getting like kills here. If we get kills, I'm gonna evolve guys. Maybe this is the right record for evolving. Guys, this is the right, this is the record I think. Yes! Oh my god! Yes! We got it! I just record to evolve in early game. Oh my god. It's always so satisfying when the laner is ganking you. Now when you have bounce and dragon brief, you're just gonna be really strong now. Just jump into them and have a give out level 5 and just one shotting the enemies. And in my 6 attack with stacks early as well. And being level 7. Insane. Actually, I didn't expect it like, to have, like, reach it today. But this is what I was ganking bot lane, understanding that Gyarados needs the gank. And the bot lane has to just overextend lane. Like bot lane, like Gyarados and Soloki works really well when the enemies are like inting. And you use, like you need to use Dragon Breath before using Bonds. Because if you don't use Dragon Breath before using Bonds, uh, you won't be able to CC them with the Bonds. I just like learned that as well recently. Dragon Breath and then Bonds, so you can CC the enemy. Or like knock him up. Try and get him the Pikachu now. And after, after activating Dragon Breath, your next like auto attacks uh, deal more damage, taking up to three times if you hit three enemies at the same time, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna use this. Now disengage. You're almost having ultimate as well. Potentially. Getting everyone here. Thank you against the Gyarados is so weird as well. Alright, level 9 early. And now we have 6 6 going bot lane side. This game is gonna be like really good because we also have a Clefable on bot lane with XP shell. Like, Gyarados needs a lot of setup honestly for solo queue to work. Like, Jungler ganking bot lane, you having XP shell in lane. Get a Pikachu before looking for the objective. Now we're gonna just go to the enemy jungle. We're playing a Jack Button with the Bounce because a Jack Button Bounce is like a strategy you can use to um, reposition yourself with the Bounce, similar to like Tunnel Flame Breath Throat. Like having a Cafe is just so insane. The spawners on Botlin may spawn in 5 seconds. This is what you need to keep in mind to like pump like properly. Being in position for the swablus is always gonna be insane. So basically when you break the point before the swablus will spawn, 
Um, the next bubble is be spawned 25 seconds earlier on the right side. I... <laughs> this is so scary. I use the bounce now, and then use the eject button to reposition myself. To make him not be able to react to the bounce. Not jumping over. I'm gonna break the point earlier. Potentially. When like glasses is unite move. For example, when glasses uses unite move, you can use bounce, unstoppable, and then dodge the unite move CC by having the unstoppable. Having an unstoppable move, move that level like this early in the game is really insane. I mean at this point this is just like a team diff. Like honestly Clefable is disgusting. <laughs> like, Especially when you play with a fable that is playing around you, it's actually so satisfying. And I farm a bit. The bottom's bubble is spawned at 445. We're gonna take the blue buff and then we're gonna reposition ourselves for this bubbles. The reason why like, I highlight bubble timers is because, for example, like you need to farm an ultimate or you wanna see enemies XP. It's always really good to take enemies XP to get ultimate recharge, but also extend the lead even further. This time, like, we're just not gonna take the uh, Spablus, we're gonna take the Regia, then we're gonna keep fight. Like, I was a Magic Hub on lane, I evolved at 8.55, and now I'm the highest level in the game. <laughs> it's, it's insane. Next Spablus will spawn at P15, gonna kill the Pikachu, and then score bot lane. Hope I use Unite move, so you know that they will take the portal. It's a really dominating game, honestly. We're 13 almost at 4 minutes. Are we gonna go top lane? I'm gonna test the ultimate eject button. So apparently, you can use ultimate and then eject button. Mm. I feel like you don't need to use ultimate eject button combination. I think bounce eject button is a better combination than ultimate eject button, but it still looks pretty cool. I guess like after you use eject, like ultimate, you can eject button to um, extend the ultimate, like similar to like glasses unite. I go for level 40 now. Usually I'm like, when I'm not the jungler, I'm not taking the jungle as much, but if the jungler is like fine with it, I'm just gonna take it. But it's probably will spawn soon, always keep in mind the spawn timers. Not having ultimate and then we can get ultimate from taking the spawn A bit scary. Now charge our bounce. When you charge your bounce and have it at 50%, you will get a shield when you jump. So use your bounce to like dodge CC, but also to get the shield to do is like to stay alive. This is in this bush. This is a legit demon horse. He's play like he's a golden badge blaster. He's Right, we are playing for the top lane objective because the top lane objective is called a win condition. Win condition means taking the objective, having the objective running towards the enemy base when the Rayquaza will spawn. The enemies are forced to protect the point, uh, like the, the, the regular key, and if they don't protect it, it will run in and you win the game. So the enemies have it really hard to uh, like uh, make a decision. At the same time, when it's like uh, a Gira does like running you down, then I have a really hard time to protect. Triple kill, letting him run in, wait one second for the final stretch, and then score 100 points and win the game like this. There's always different ways of winning games, right? This is like one another approach of winning the game. For example, like what you can do right now is like when you want to win like competitively a game, when you do this. Like you legit, all you need to do is stay in the like stay in the base, camp in base, don't do anything, and you win the game. If you try to steal it, if you try to score, the enemies don't have enough points to like uh, win the game, right? So even, like technically, you could just camp in the base and uh, see you. Wait, the secure range with you might wait. The secure range with the ultimate is actually really strong as well. What? 
It was like uh, 10% secure. It was a big secure range. Yeah, I didn't know that uh, Ultimate has a good secure range as well. Alright guys, 16 kills, 10 assists, going 200 points, having a really good early game. Props to the Zerauda and the Grafebe XP show. Zerauda ganking the lane early to me, for me to get level 5 as soon as possible, or give us as soon as possible. 100 for key. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.